Today we mark the dedication of the aircraft prototype facility, the APF. Even with all the critical work going on here at PAX, it is important that we pause to mark the significance of this facility's opening. We conceived of this facility specifically to enhance the efficiency of getting research efforts and developmental equipment into the fleet faster. That is the principal reason for the facility, although it has certainly uh, broadened in the years since we kicked off the planning. This ribbon cutting of the aircraft prototyping facility opens up a new capability to rapidly prototype Navy and Marine Corps air vehicles and combat systems to enhance our warfighting capability in this ever-changing battle space against asymmetric and adaptive threats. The operative word for this facility is prototype. Prototyping is truly an instrument of acquisition reform and acquisition advocacy. It provides acquisition alternatives. The APF will broaden our capabilities to do prototyping by giving us the critically needed space required for all levels of classification. When the customer comes in, it's turnkey. They walk in the door, they have whatever computer assets they need, they'll do their engineering, work on integrating it onto the aircraft. They come in, they do their job, and they get out as quickly as possible. APF ensures that whether the platform is manned or unmanned, uh, ground, air, or sea-based, one-of-a-kind modification for a specific mission, or the prototype for thousands to follow. We are quickly producing what is needed and adding great value to the acquisition process. I believe we will learn how to be the lead systems integrator on many improvement efforts that will make our existing platforms far more useful. Work done at the APF will be vital to our national security needs far into the future.